advance or 10. If your ceremony is taking place out of town and guests will need to travel when you start posting them and the RSVPs start trickling in, you will probably get a handful of regretful no's. This doesn't mean you've been snubbed. It means life got in the way somehow. And the silver lining is that you now have space to ask the people you would have loved to have included if you had the room the first time around. Consult your original master list and work with your partner to fill these spots. Just be sure to send the next round of invites ASAP because no one wants to feel like a second thought. Number seven and the last one. Remember how you feel when you aren't invited to a wedding. This point is mainly to help you maintain a healthy perspective during what can be one of the most stressful times of your life. If you don't get an invite to someone else's wedding, how does it affect you? And for how long? Even if you think you're definitely on the list, you might be a bit let down for a day or two, but you do your best to understand and move on. And it's very likely your potential attendees will do the exact same thing. A wedding is one day and anyone who truly cares about you will be there for you well after well after it takes place, whatever you decide. Take a deep breath, step back, and remember, it will all work out in the end. And that is my seven easy steps to planning your guest list. You are listening to Weddings, Music, and Wine with new live streaming on Spreaker.com, available later on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Podcast Addict, Podchaser, Deezer, Chayo Saving, and Google Podcast. Sponsored in part by the Den ENT because you can find everything you need in the Den. Before we jump back into number four, the top 10 wedding tips of planning, Let's get a little international. I love to bring my international music in. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring in a little international music. I love my international. So we're going to get a little sexy right now. Can we get get, get sexy for a bit? <laughs> but it's a little Latin themed cocktail hour with a little beautiful suave Spanish song just called Iroso. This is DJ New. Most interesting DJ in the world.
Yes, 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 it is the most interesting DJ in the world. Welcome back to Weddings, Music, and Wine with new live streaming right now on Spreaker.com. Available on all major streaming services including iHeartRadio, Spotify, Podcast Addict, Podchaser, Deezer, Jio Saving, and Google Podcasts as well. Well, sponsored in part by the D. The den, <laughs> ENT, because you can find everything you need in the den. And I hope you guys like that sultry, sexy time, old school, desperado type. The desperado with, you know, Antonio Barderas and Salma Hayek. A movie type Spanish theme song called Ayaroso for your cocktail hour. My last wedding tip of the day is my number four tip of my top 10 which is your timeline wedding day schedule timeline is a whole event from your waking up to the last dance of the evening first getting ready wake up at least five hours before the ceremony because you and your gang will need at least three hours to get ready Rock your party robes, enjoy some wine and music, join the wine and music right now along with you guys, and then get ready for the rest of the day. Take the make take the makeup, hair, and other factors into consideration also. Bride gets wedding attire. This will take at least 20 minutes or so, especially if it's custom made. Also put the accessories and shoes into consideration. Solo portraits and wedding party photos. Getting the solo portraits and posing with your wedding party will last an hour at least, maybe a little bit more depending on how organized everyone is. This is also the time to include parents in your shots while they still looking fresh. First look and couple and a couple of photos. You want to preserve a fresh first look with your beloved before you hit full throttle into the evening. It will take a maximum of 30 minutes because you're already in the mood and you're ready to go. Arrive at the ceremony place. If you're getting ready at the ceremony venue, then this is the time that you put your put everything else to use or put put to other use. However, if you if you be coming to the venue, set the timer for 30 minutes together with the guests. 30 minutes at the least, 45 minutes at the most. Ceremony for a huge ceremony with the rituals and readings take about an hour. Most weddings I've done, it's been about an hour, and I've done hundreds of weddings, and most of them it usually doesn't go over an hour. If it's small and intimate, it would last for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and that's maybe 10, 15, 20 people at the most. Family photos. This would take a minimum of one hour. Get these shots immediately after you get to the reception. Give the photographer a list to work with. Cocktail hour, which is what I make this show mostly about. The instrumental music that be going on is good for your cocktail hours. This is a crucial transition between the ceremony and reception as well. Keep the music on, the bar ready to serve guests as they arrive and mixing it up. Leave the guests Without music, leaving the guests without music or drinks while they wait feels very awkward. It's quiet. Um, no one's really mingling. So you want to have the music going. You want to have the drinks flowing so everybody loosens up and they're enjoying themselves. The reception. This would. This a couple. A couple of things about the reception. This will take between two to three hours. Introduction and guests getting seated will take about twenty minutes. Speeches. Oh my God, will take about 15 minutes. Yeah, right. Meal and dance will take about 40 minutes each. Cake cutting will take about 10 minutes at the most, I would say, while other minor activities may pop up. Receptions can differ differ based on venue and couple preferences. 
Most couples plan the reception in the following order. Bridal party is announced and does a grand entrance with dancing and music that concludes with the introduction with the newly married couple. With the newly married couple. For example, now if you aren't standing and clapping already, already do that now as I bring in for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Something like that. I've done a few introductions in my day. Greeting or welcome to everyone after introduction, usually by the pastor or the father of the bride at the beginning. Dinner is served. After dinner, the bride and groom mingles, um, talks to everybody, introducing themselves to everybody around the Um, Ceremony or around the place You know what I mean Venue, blah, blah, blah Speeches slash toast can be short or long Depending on how many does the toast And how much time each takes up The bride and groom cut the cake These are like the order First dance Daddy slash daughter dance Mother slash son dance Any special dances Dance floor opens Bouquet toss Garter toss Open dance With that being said, many of these events can be done in different order, if you wish, as long as the DJ, usually myself, leads and lets everyone know what the plan is. Make sure that you give yourself plenty of time to eat and try to keep the speeches on the shorter end, as most people will want to start dancing at that point. My biggest advice for just pretty much just any wedding planning Whatever I can give is to reach out to your wedding professionals, your photographer, your wedding planner, your DJ, venue coordinator, and have them check your timeline to make sure you haven't forgotten anything or planned too much time or not enough time for something. A wedding day can feel a little bit like a train going from station to station until it arrives at the party. The best thing you can do is really think about the timeline for the day so that the train moves continuously and doesn't have to come to a a complete stop. Follow these tips and hopefully you'll be ahead of the curve and be able to have a smooth and stress-free wedding. Then your wedding exit. Once the whole fun winds down, the exit will take about 10 to 20 minutes depending on how grand how grand it is, confetti throwing, dancing, getaway cars, smoke bombs may add to this time. And these are my number four, this is my number four tip for your timeline out of my top 10 tips of wedding planning. Now, if you haven't tuned in for the first four episodes, first and foremost, shame on you. And two, this show talks about tips as you've been listening along to the do's and don'ts and planning of your wedding day, along with other tidbits about your special time with special with upcoming special guests to guide you through your amazing day. Music with original and instrumentals for your listening pleasure, like the one just playing in back. A, A, A. With guests from the music world, DJs, singers, and more artists.